Welcome to the C-Suite at the Open. I'm Brooke Suman, head of company services based in Calgary. Joining us today is Matthew Stevens, president and CEO of Urban Gold Minerals, ticker UGM on the TSX Venture. Matthew, welcome. Thank you, thank you very much. It's great to have you. Perhaps we can begin with uh, who Urban Gold is. Uh, Urban Gold, we've been around for just under two years now. We uh, did our IPO on the TSX Venture there just in December 2018, uh, just, just before New Year's. Uh, we're obviously, like the name says, Urban Gold, we're mainly in the gold sector. Uh, when we became public, uh, and still the case now, we have many properties. We had uh, copper properties, even rare earth properties. And I joined uh, after the IPO, I joined in February 2019 and started going through the properties and decided, you know what, we need to focus on gold. And that was just right before the, uh, the uptick in gold that we had. Um, so the timing was perfect. So all these properties were collected over the last, I would say about four years, four or five years uh, privately, and then uh, put into a package and became public here. Uh, one property in particular I liked very much, and that's the one uh, we've been focus focusing on since uh, last year, uh, is probably one of the most prospective gold properties in uh, Quebec, uh, uh, recently, uh, one thing I should mention also is all our properties are 100% Quebec. The, pro the companies focus on Quebec only properties. Uh, the reason for this is Quebec is a great place for exploration, uh, lots of fiscal advantages, uh, um, obviously a lot of security, but also a lot of expertise in, in the province of Quebec. So uh, with the combination of gold in there, we think it's the perfect place to, to be in the right sector. Excellent. So. I noticed that uh, your assets, and I think this is the, this is the uh, project you're talking about, but the assets are adjacent to one of the major gold discoveries in Quebec. Um, can you speak to the, the details of this discovery? Yeah, so uh, you're, I believe you're uh, referring to Kenorland Minerals. Uh, Kenorland Minerals is currently a private company. They're doing a reverse takeover of uh, Northway Resources, which is also on a TSX venture there. So uh, I'm not exactly sure when that will be completed, but I imagine over the next few months uh, we sh that should be done. Uh, so Kenorlan, uh, this private uh, organization, had uh, made a discovery. Uh, they drilled it in March of 2020, and they announced their discovery in late July there. Uh, we're lucky enough to be right next door. Uh, we knew something was going on before the discovery was announced because uh, they basically they drilled in March and then they came back in June and basically they, they were so close to us that we could see the drill from our own property. My, my geos were calling me and says the drill, we can see the drill from where, where we are and we're on our property. So we kind of suspected something was going on beforehand. Uh, and this would be in June and then obviously in the end of July, their uh, discovery was announced. Uh, it was eight grams over 29 meters, if I recall. Uh, that was the best hole. But what was really nice about their discovery is actually they had multiple holes uh, over a long trend uh, that had gold in it. And some of these holes are located just 400 meters away from our property boundary. That's when the guy saw the drill, basically. Um, from memory there, I think it's about a gram over 17 meters. So we got a wide zone right next to us. And there is some higher grade stuff as well, a bit further on. And our side, there's absolutely no drill holes, uh, no historical drill holes recorded there. So, and we're actually drilling uh, right now. We've started before Christmas and uh, we continue drilling right now in, in January here. Excellent, sounds like a great neighborhood to be in. Um, speaking about those drills, what are other catalysts for the company for 2021? Well, so this area in particular I'm talking about is commonly known as the Trollis Frote area. Uh, so Kenorland, as I mentioned, is there. The other company, principal company that's in there is uh, Trollis Gold, which has pretty much the largest land package in the area. So we're sort of, I mean, we have different areas, but we're sort of, for the most part, sandwiched in between Kenorland, which their partner is Sumutumo, and uh, Trollis Gold. Um, and in a portion of this property, we have a joint venture uh, company, it's Argonaut Gold, which is listed on the TSX. Um, they had this TSX, uh, sorry, Argonaut had this uh, land package for, for actually since the 1960s in here. 
uh, but hadn't touched it since the 1980s. So uh, I knew the area very well because of my previous uh, uh, company I was with, was Bowfield Resources that got acquired by uh, Cisco Mining in 2018. So they had a large land packages in this area, which is now owned most for the most part uh, by Trellis Gold. So I knew this area very well. This is why I wanted the company to concentrate on this. Uh, so we had a land package in 2019 that was roughly uh, about the fifth, one fifth of the size it is right now, maybe one sixth. So we've greatly expanded here. And the, the, the reason I'm going on on the Trellis area is because we not only have this area next to Knorland, but we also have an area called Presida, which is on strike with the old Trellis mine. Uh, the old gold copper mine uh, that was this this Crescido zone was drilled in the 1980s, 1987, 1988, and then for some reason it was completely forgotten about. And Argonaut basically ended up with claims through the acquisition of Prodigy in 2012, and haven't even touched it yet. And 87, 88, it's the same time that the Trellis mine was being discovered. And for whatever reason, even after the mine opened up in the late 1990s, there was absolutely no work on this zone. And there's, we're talking multiple holes with multiple hits here, wide, just like the mine is, like wide zones, low grade. Uh, so we think there's a lot more work to be done here. So uh, I, we're right now we're doing geophysics on this ground and we uh, hope to undertake a drilling, uh, additional drilling in, uh, in 20, or this year in 2021. Seems like there's a lot of opportunities and, and catalysts there on the horizon. Uh, what about the challenges? Uh, are there any challenges that you see and how do you plan to address these? Yeah, one of the uh, say principal challenges, I'm a geologist by training. Uh, I, I worked uh, for several years in the field, in rocks. I, I won't qualify myself as a promoter and uh, it's sort of a learning process for me here. So we're one of, one of the main challenges for us is to get us known and this is why videos like this helps uh, we want people to know uh, not only where we are but who we are uh, I'm one of the type of persons that likes to put as much money into the ground into drilling as possible and not on the sort of things surrounding this but I you know I come to realization that you know there is a lot of companies out there a lot of companies make a lot of noise and uh, maybe that's something we need to do as well to a bit more uh, arm waving basically and indicate where we are and how exciting our project is and how prospective both our projects are basically in this, this specific area. Matthew, finally, what does the TSX Venture listing mean to you? Well, we're really be, we're really pleased to be on the TSX Venture. Uh, we know the TSX Venture is, you know, it's, it's one of the best spots to be in Canada to be listed, uh, the high requirements. We know it's quality companies on the TSX Venture. Um, and so, a, and the, just like videos like this right now that like we're doing, it, it, it brings a lot more than just a listing. It brings additional uh, tools that we can use uh, that is in our favor to be on a TSX venture. So this is one of the, the, the main reasons I, I, I love the TSX venture. It's the best place to be, in, in my opinion, in, in Canada. Thank you, Matthew. And we look forward to seeing some of those catalysts in the 2021. Appreciate your time. Great, thank you very much.